Hey, Linda. I'm Hi. back for more. <laughs> well, welcome. Wow, your truck that you tow with your lazy days. Yep. Can't wait to go inside and see this beautiful home of yours okay. on wheels. Okay. Well, welcome. So, yeah, let's just check this out from the outside. Again, for those who may not have seen part one, you want to go back and watch that. You have, what is this? This is a 21 Lazy Days rear bath model. Lazy Days is the brand, not the dealership. Okay. Yeah. And what you're pulling is? Is a Ford Maverick. Ford Maverick. And it's a hybrid model. The Ford Maverick hybrids, you can tow four down. So all four wheels on the ground. Oh. If you get the, the gas models, you can't, which is strange. But I like it better because it gets good mileage. And these are what year? Uh, that's a uh, 20. Did my snowboarding and all that uh, for a year before I said, I want to start looking into something to tow behind. And these started being made. And I said, yep, that's it. Wow, so, and they're still making those. Oh yeah, they they <laughs> like the lazy days. Right, uh, the Mavericks. The the first one that came out was twenty two. Now they're on their, they're on twenty fours. Wow, so. you're just on the cutting edge of things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is wonderful. So this is very beautiful, and I love this color. I mean, is this a custom color that you had to they, pay extra? Oh no no, this this they come with it's it's an aluminum body. Um, with aircraft paint, two-part aircraft urethane paint, and you have choice of five colors, or you did. So you'll, you'll see them in green, blue, brown, red, or silver. Oh, wow. Well, I just love this green because it goes right in with the forest. Yes. Like, and it, and it, but it just pops, too, with the white. Yeah. Beautiful. And what do we got going on over here with your map? Is every state that I have slept in in my rig and seen a few things all right so that's your rule of thumb you yes. only put a state in there if you've seen a few things and you've slept there yeah so an overnight stay doesn't count right yeah you're, you're yeah i did a state here no i came across here uh at the end of one snowbird season i went from here up across actually through nevada i just went through nevada i didn't see anything uh -huh. went through nevada idaho over to oregon and then across here but i just slept here here well i didn't sleep there i didn't see north dakota anyways i didn't see anything i did sleep in them but i didn't see anything so i have to go back all right so you've you've been a uh, sleep around all over the country <laughs> yeah <laughs> just a circle just a circle and lived in quite a few places oh, yeah. here too so yep and then i see that this is not really permanent permanently attached nope, it's what did um, you do here this is a poster board and then we have um, 3M oh, wow. picture hanging strips mm -hmm. so that if I ever want to take this off or if I when you know, 20 years down the line when I sell it, yeah. I can take it off and keep it, frame it. I can keep it house. and yeah. the, the next person doesn't have to have my history because you really don't want somebody else's history that you can't take Boy, off. That's like a motivator board too yeah. to keep going. And then we've got, please don't let the cat out, no matter what it tells you. That's so cute. <laughs> so you did say in the last interview about you have two little furries, okay. right? Designed and built by Lazy Days for the, and I certainly can't say that word, Gemmelichtig. <laughs> Gemmelichkeit. It's a German word that there is no English word to go with it, but it basically means good times, coziness, friendliness, all kind of put into one word. Um, the way they intended this to be was to put your last name on there. And I said, I don't want that. I just wanted, and this seemed to bark because this is for coziness and, and good times and that's what it's for. Yes, and it's a perfect story. I love it. <laughs> yeah, let's go around and, and okay. see from the outside. This is like kind of prolonging the people keep watching. <laughs> and Here this... we are, lazy days, big windows. Yep. And then I'll step back here a little bit. Yep. And there you have it, guys. The driver's side. Beautiful. Yep. Okay, Linda, let's go inside and okay. see what we can see. Sorry, but we have to meet your friendlies first, your little okay. kitty cats. 
This here's Theo. Beautiful. And he's got a runny nose lately. I don't Beautiful. But he's Theo. Theo. And over here, just perched up there so beautiful. That is Lazuli. I call him Zuli for short. He has blue eyes. That's where the Lazul comes from. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go a little closer. Okay. He'll probably be yeah. like a squirrel. Huh? Yeah, he's life. they're both shy. I'm not being shy now. I don't know you why. Are picture perfect posing. <laughs> you are beautiful. Yes, there. Both of them. Yep. Is that two boys? Yes. Two boys. Two boys, and they're both 10, 11 years old, something in that neighborhood. Wow, Linda. We'll start in the front of your cab, Linda, and if you just point out to us whatever you want. I I don't know. I've got lights everywhere. Yeah. Um, here, there. Um, this up here is supposed to be a bed, but I've never, I've slept in there once um, when I had both. Both couches filled up with people, oh. and it's a little harder than I want it to be. Mm -hmm. But there's a ladder that goes up there. It's Are a you nice space? So you use it for the cats? This side storage. Okay. Um, we've got a couple nice big bags. boxes there and some bags. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then the cats get the rest of the space. Mm -hmm. So you climb up there like it's kind of like your little attic. Yeah, yeah. I've got this so I can easily grab those. Oh, okay, gotcha. These gotcha. fold-up things are the best. Oh yes. If you don't have one, get one. And they can be different sizes. This is good if I want to check the oil, too. Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. But I just leave it here so I can get a step up to get... I got my potato chips up there and a couple big bowls and okay. that sort of thing. And I see you have some, some personal memories here. Yes. Beautiful. That was my husband and wow. me. That was Jim. Beautiful. Beautiful husband, and thank you for your service. Yep. And, okay, the TV comes around so I can watch it from oh, my bed oh, or the... So there that. we go. There we go. And that came with it or no? Oh, yeah. The TV came with the Lazy yeah. Days. Nice. And then we've got daughter. Daughter, grandchildren. Uh-huh. Granddaughters. Cool clock there, Linda. Yep. That is, um, that's an atomic clock, so it sets the time all by itself. Uh, it changed to daylight savings time last Sunday, all by itself. And um, Lazy Days includes that with with the purchase of the rig. Uh, you can buy them on Amazon. They're all over the place. Wow. But it's nice. I've got a little temperature shoved up the back end. There's a little spot that they put it. So I know what inside and outside temperature is. Nice. And it says in and out there. That, so That's because it, I had to get up real close to look at it. And... So I put those labels on I there. like that. I like nice that. storage. Yep. Um, big things. I, everything I have, I put in tubs and labels so I can find, except for a few, you know, yeah. that don't quite fit. Cat stuff, zip ties, glue, right. screws. Right. Very cool. And your first aid and things that's, like that. That's major first aid. This is, you know, everyday band-aids. Yeah. And, Very and nice, junk. Linda. And yep. then you've got some things hanging for storage also. Yep, this and also over here. That one's Velcro. That one's screwed in. But they're bamboo boxes I got off of Amazon to keep things. You know, I needed a, a nightstand. If I just put them on the ledge, it would work, except for my cats come by and knock everything off. You know how oh, cats work. right. So that's so a twofold. I needed a ledge. And I really like that they're wood, they match. Mm -hmm. They're not like some kind of plastic chintzy looking yeah, thing either. Yeah. It, it's classy. They're, they're bamboo. Very, very classy. And then, um, I don't know, did we talk about your fan? Yeah, I added that in. Just uh, dusty, but it um, into the light circuit, I just tapped in inside the thing and added that in. And I can just turn it on like that. And that'll give me a nice breeze while I'm in my bed. And it, it it's enough, it'll reach the the dinette the but framo. it's, it's c-a-f-r-a-m-o something it's, like yeah it's made in in um in canada and it's very low amperage and quiet wow you do do your research yep. yes and then we have what what are these things up here uh this turns on the power for the tv oh okay. this turns on uh, there is a the cigarette lighter things okay it's up there a nine volt Hi maybe hiding in the back all right, and, that's and that our, turns that on. And your controller. This is um, a cell phone booster. Oh, all right. So okay. that's I plugged it into there, and then now, now I have a switch for yeah. my booster if I want it. Very and the good. And this is just you know storage junk. 
Yeah, and I'm looking here at your gadgets before we get into your bed. What is that? The That's, Govi. Govi is a thermometer that operate that will. Um, it's under Wi-Fi, and it will send me uh, an email if uh, the temperature is out of range. I gave it 40 degrees to 90 degrees so that I'll know I better get back to my rig to make sure my cats aren't dying. And if you have a, a hot spot that you can leave in your rig, you can buy this and there's no subscription fee. It's $40 or so, and you've got alert service for temperatures. Wow, it sounds like one of those best gadgets ever. Yeah. Yeah, for a sense of uh, security and good feeling with your animals too, yes, yes. for sure. Yeah, and I love your bed setup. You've got a, a sofa and a bed. Tell me, tell us about that. Well, they come, they're both two beds. Oh. Or two sofas, actually. And it pulls out to the depth of a twin bed. Actually, you can pull it out a little further and drop it in there so it can be a full bed. But um, I leave that set up as a, as a twin. And then I'm over here on my couch, put my feet up, watch TV, read a book, whatever. And you look like you're having a lazy days. Yeah, <laughs> lazy day. Oops, and I. Yes, because your TV moves around. Yeah, I think you showed yeah, us. I, I don't know if you showed us that or not. Yeah. And it clicks in place, so it it'll do this while it's traveling, but it won't come out. All right. And then um, I see you only have one cushion. Where's the other cushion? The other is in my house up in Michigan. Where All right. Not? All right. So you just leave it like this, yes. then, huh? I yes. love it. Love it. And Alrighty. This, this is my um, middle of the night cat repellent. If they're doing something they shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Linda, you have another. This is a cool box. Yeah, this is a another Amazon find. This was just a plain black blank thing, and I wanted some place to hang my keys. I've got a couple flashlights, mosquito repellent, and this is just to keep it from rattling when I'm driving down the road because it's wider. Oh, that's a fire extinguisher. Yeah, very good, very good. All right, so now let's uh, talk about your kitchen. I love the how you have so much uh, counter space here. Well, how did you do this? Well, this is just a uh -huh. a board on top of this. This one came with the rig, right? And this one, Camco wants fifty dollars for their wooden cover your stove thing. Mm -hmm. I'm too cheap, so I went to Sam's Club and got a ten dollar cutting board added some feet to the bottom so that it'll stick in here and now i have extra extra space your yes. table it does it, it it folds down it comes down so it's flat and all the cushions will slide in mm. and the size of it it's 71 inches long so you can get a five foot person in there comfortably oh very good um, what? Or little gonna... little kids yeah. for sure. Little or a little lady. Grandkids or a small woman. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Up top, the grandkids like up top. If oh, I do clean they? Up, clean up, clean up some of my junk. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. we've got really nice here too with the organization. Yep. That's that's my dry storage. Oh yeah. Very good. Very oh, good. This is nice containers. The shelf in the back. Yeah, I love those yep. for height, and then you can put something underneath, and I put, too. And I, out of wire clothes hangers, I made that little rail because things were always falling off the top. So that's why that's got a oh, little rail on top. Oh, my gosh. Out of a clothes hanger. Go figure. That's fantastic. Down, Linda, onto no, the... it's from sliding. Okay. Which this doesn't either. It's just oh I yeah. see that's perfect that's perfect it works, it works with shelf liner too the you know the rubber made yes rubber it works the same yes and it stays there when I'm traveling it doesn't move All I right. mean, occasionally it'll move a little bit but it's just yeah I really got to push it yeah my my drinks stay there they don't go anywhere don't go anywhere and I love your view oh my yes. gosh I could look out there all day got some big windows Yep. Yes, because I love looking out my front. I call it my picture window, but you've truly got a picture window there. Yeah, yeah. And then what are what is all this? This is craziness to me here. That What's that? That is um, hotspots from all three networks. We You're kidding. AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile. And why would you have three hotspots, girl? Uh, for redundancy, because some places you can get better signal with this one. Other ones you can with that one. Um, before I went on the road, I was watching... Mobile Internet Resource Center, which is a YouTube channel. 
and they like to tell you when different things are going on sale, what plans are the best ones right now. And as I went in my planning, whenever there was a really good deal, I grabbed it up and the three of them all together is about $120 a month, which is cheaper than if you go with, with Starlink. Whoa. And Cause Starlink, everybody's talking about that all day, every day. Yeah. yeah. It's 150 bucks and you got You can't be under a tree. Interesting. But, um, they're truly unlimited. Um, I don't get to 22 gigs and it stops. Mm -hmm. It keeps going. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I've never had an issue with them. I'm impressed. Yep. All of your research has come to fruition yes. and pays off yes. for sure. All right. And then you've got a nice thing here for, for shoes. I've yeah. never seen that instead of shoes just laying everywhere. Yeah, those are my most used, at least on this trip. It's Something you bought? Yeah. Um, it's a makeshift or they're made for no, shoes? No, they're, they're made for shoes. And that's, a, that's another Amazon. I do a lot of Amazon. I can tell. Yeah. And I added this recently. It just, it looked like a good idea. A fire blanket. A fire blanket. All right. Yep. All right. And then under, this is just more of your personal storage here. That's canned goods down at the bottom because you want the heavy stuff down, not up. Mm -hmm. My pans and over here is spices and yeah, and you and know always what? put the unless you want to lay them down in a drawer, put the name on top. Oh my gosh, girl! I've lived sixty-five years and never thought of that. This video is worth it just for all your little hacks you've got going on here yeah. and organization. And this is, what's this? This is a baby wipes dispenser, but those are um, Lysol wipes. Oh. And it makes it easy. It never dries out. I mean, it's it's been here for three years. <sighs> That's something else you bought? Yep. Oh, and, I love uh, it. So, yeah, instead of opening the thing and pulling it out and yes. dealing with it, I got the, the ones that are in a, in a baby wipe size and put them in there and i've got the same thing back in my bathroom for body wipes so you buy the container separate yeah and then you put your bag of wipes in there your right, container of wipes whatever it's by it is oxo all right oxo baby wipe dispenser okay this is not an amazon sponsored video but you never know <laughs> <laughs> all right so back into your back area now okay well i've got my son and his wife oh okay yes and the granddaughters oh, and my son. Beautiful. Yes, beautiful, and beautiful Theo says family. Theo says it's lunchtime. And you've got your Dometic, something or other here. Um, that's for the, the fern. it is um, air conditioning and heat pump. Mm -hmm. This is the, the propane therm, uh, furnace. Mm -hmm. This I changed because it was, it was an analog one that it only, uh, to, change the temperature said warmer and cooler and you kind of had to kind of guess okay so this is a two wire thing 20 bucks to get a new one and just installed it and now i can set it on 68 or 69 or 65 and it's not like well is this warmer or is this cooler <laughs> i've done that i've done that yep. you know what before we go to the back would you speak a little bit i see you don't have slides how's come you don't have slides um lazy days didn't believe in them uh, they said slides can go bad and a lot of people have trouble with slides and mm -hmm. we're simpler is better mm -hmm. and and I kind of agree with them I mean if I had a big dog or something in here I might but it just gives you more floor space mm -hmm. that's all it does so. and it's one thing that you mentioned in your last in our interview that if you want to leave quickly you don't have to mess with slides right right you know I just you just get up and go. Get up and go. Mm-hmm. All right, Linda, if you don't mind taking us to the back now. Okay. And seeing the rest of your okay. shower. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is uh, the cat right here. Uh-huh. The mirror. Okay. It opens all the way up here. Oh. So we have, we have a dressing room. That's huge. Toilet. Yes. And these are... Wow, those go way, way out. And nice yep. drawers, they're not going to fall out no, either. No, they don't. No. They're impossible to take out. And there we have it. And up here is some great storage, too, that you've utilized mm -hmm. and accessed. And then a big window back here. Yeah, the Escapees. windows. Yes. The windows are tinted. They're, they're like limo tint. Mm -hmm. So whichever side the light is on, um, that person can see through it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I can be sitting here naked and nobody can see me, 
during the day. Oh. At night, it's the other way around. The lights on the outside, or the lights on the inside, and they can see me. Oh, gotcha. So, okay. Yeah, I gotta but it's, beware. It's, yeah, yes. But it's it's nice. It's very dark. Okay, and here's my shoebox. This was just an open drawer, open space door, and mm. you, you could get down on your knees and reach all the way back like this deep. Mm. But I added this pull-out drawer oh. and put my shoes in there. That's fantastic. And the sides are just uh, quarter-inch plywood that I added on because they were falling off the side. So. You've got so many cool talents and things that, and that's just a regular drawer there. Yeah, that's just mm -hmm. that came with it. Yep, lots of lots of storage here, even up here. This is yep. really nice with your mirror. All right, Linda, I'm gonna, if you step okay. back, we'll get the view this way. Beautiful, beautiful. And anything else that you're just loving about this? I'm loving that I added a lithium battery this winter. Oh. I have 280 amps of lithium. I added, yeah, I added a, a lithium battery, which is 280 amps. Mm -hmm. So I used to have um, AGMs, and they were... What were they? 220 amps of AGM, but you can only use half of it all right. on AGMs. Mm -hmm. So now I have 280 that I can use all the time. I've got solar panels up there. So what I really like about this rig is I can go out on the road. Um, my limiting factor is my black tank and my gray tank. Um, I get um, 16 days on my black tank. Mm. So I can go out on the road not connected to anything everything's taken care of and uh i just have to come back and find civilization to dump the tanks okay 16 days very good yeah. wow well i know you gave us a packed full interview so appreciated about your backstory and how you got to this rig and what you're just doing. very grateful that you would share with us your personal story which was quite empowering and now let us uh have a a tour of your your home too it's beautiful well, you. your home on wheels You're yeah welcome. home away from home huh yep, yep. and uh just awesome this is i think this is a great group of people and the, the yeah, friendships the that, are nice mm -hmm, and the people that we're meeting along yep. the way too so yep. all right linda then one more time his name theo theo and then the other one is hiding now. Yep, he's back in the corner. But we got lucky there. He was <laughs> really showing off there for a That's minute. Right. Yes. All right, Theo. With all of that, Linda, blessings in your day and joy in your journey, wherever that takes you. Thank you. Thank you. For one more thing. And you just shared something that was really, really empowering for us women who think okay. that we can't do anything. Right. And I know you said about that in the last video. You can do anything, anything you put your mind to. Right. What did you do? Um, well, I installed battery monitor, which right now we're leave, no amps are going into the battery because it's full. I installed that, which goes, which means running a wire from the battery compartment, which is right under there, through the wall, up underneath here, to up there. Okay. And I put another light over my toilet. A light over your toilet. Very because good. in the middle of the night when you're flushing these toilets, you got to see how much water is in there. It's not like at home where you just push the lever and it goes. Right. It's you got to you got to see how much is in there. Oh. And that's another running the wire all the way from. It came from that five volt outlet down there. From there. Yeah. And ran it all the way up to here. Okay. And then the biggest thing you did. Those were pretty big, but yeah. I installed tank washers. Uh, which means running a, a hose bib from the outside of your rig to the tank and putting a, in there. Mm -hmm. um, so it took drilling a hole in the outside of the rig, actually two because I have one for black and one for, red, uh, for gray, running the hose around to the other side of the tanks, drilling a hole in the tank and putting the, the spray mechanism there. And it was like, I know I can do this. It's two holes in a hose. What's the big deal? But it's two holes in a hose in my new rig. <laughs> and it took me about three days to decide, okay, I'm actually going to drill this hole here and it's going to be perfect right there. Yes, let's do it. 
and actual doing the project three hours but getting the guts to put holes where holes were not before yeah yeah, yeah. and that is like what we talked about getting out of your head and your thoughts into common sense and i can do this yes i mean because it's just two holes in a hose what the heck okay well thank you linda yeah later okay